Hello friends, welcome to the School of Sports. In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 most popular sports of 2020 and I would provide you the insights and you're gonna love it. Let's get it started. On number 10 is golf. Now golf is estimated to have 390 million fans around the globe. It is an individual sport and it is an expensive and elite sport. It's very popular in United States. Around 50% of the golf course of the world are in the United States. It's also popular in Europe, Australia. Little bit popular in some of the Asian countries. Not much popular in Southern America and Africa. The highest paid athlete is Dustin Johnson in 2020. Of course, he's from United States. He earned $3 million in last year. In terms of gender popularity, golf has a good amount of female representation around 25% and the female popularity is growing. So the sport is in good shape. On number 9 is American football. They estimate to have 410 million fans. Now American football as the name says, American, very popular in United States. It's not much popular outside United States. Canada plays it. Uh, Japan plays it. They are trying to you know, promote the sport in European countries. But for now, it's only popular in the United States uh, and trying to get more presence in other countries. The highest paid athlete was Patrick Mahomes from USA on $45 million. Any sport that is big in the United States, the players, the highest salaried player would get a ton of money. In terms of gender popularity, it's, very, it's not much popular in female in terms of playing. A lot of uh, players are male, but 45% of viewers are female. So a lot of females watch it. And that is because America football is not just a sport, it's a complete event. People come, they do the barbecue, they drink the alcohol, and during the match, they see the cheerleading, they see the bands playing beautiful music. So the whole family goes to watch a match and it's like a party. That's why a lot of women with the men who love football, they all come together and watch the football. Also on number nine is another sport, which is a tie is rugby. So we have American football and rugby. Rugby also have 410 million fans. Now in terms of geographical popularity, rugby is very popular in Australia, South Africa, New Zealand, and some of the European countries like France, England, Spain. And rugby is a country sport, so it's, you know, played between countries. There are clubs, but mostly, you know, it's it's more popular in countries. So players, you know, when it's between country, the amount of money is little less. So the highest paid athlete is Charles from New Zealand uh, on $2 million. Again, in terms of gender popularity, it's more than American football. Women's also playing in Kazakhstan, around 50% of players are female but in you know other countries it's not that much so again a male dominant sport uh, beautiful sport very physical sport required a lot of strength number eight is a baseball it's again a team sport and estimated fans are around 500 million the popularity is mainly in United States and in Japan. It's also played in Cuba, Dominican Republic, which are also in North America. So, you know, again, uh, other, other teams play, but it's more popular in U.S. and Japan. Uh, also played in Australia, but not much in other countries. And again, since it's a popular sport in U.S., the highest salaried player under $37 million, again, from USA. In terms of gender popularity, uh, most of the players in baseball are male. There's a version of a baseball which is more oriented toward women. It's called softball. Uh, so a lot of women play that sport. Overall, great sport, uh, fun sport, team sport. I love it. Number seven is table tennis. Table tennis has 850 million fans. And it's popular, as you might have guessed, in China. So it makes, you know, Asia, it's very popular. Some of the European countries also play it, like Germany and Sweden. It's popular in South Korea also. Well, the, what you see here is the popularity in terms of professionalism. Ping pong is played or table tennis is played across the globe. No matter which country you go to, you would find a ping pong table or the table tennis table and bat and ball. So a lot of people play around the globe, but they play more recreationally. Professionally, it's more popular in 
uh, few countries only. And as you can see, you know, the salary is also not too high. The highest salaried player fan from China on 2 million, which is good, but not very high compared to the other sports. Gender popularity, it's a sport which is beautifully well balanced by gender. It has a representation of males and females, both genders play it. And it's a, it's a fun sport to watch. It's an individual sport. So number six is volleyball. They have 900 million fans and volleyball is famous around the globe. It's popular in terms of professional, recreational, professionally a little less popular in Africa. But apart from that, it's popular all around the globe. But again, they don't have a very good club representation. It's a country based and small club, small league. So the salaries are little low. So the highest salaried player, Wilfredo, who's a Cuban Polish player on $1.4 million. In terms of gender popularity, a lot of women also play volleyball. So it's, it's a more men, but uh, women also have a good representation and they volleyball have the second highest amateur players in the world. So a lot of player play, a lot of player enjoy it. It's a beautiful team sport, very fun to play. On number five is tennis. Tennis has a 1 billion fans. Now we've hit the 1 billion fan. It is popular more in developed countries, so Canada, uh, much more popular in US, European countries and Australia. People also play in Africa, uh, South America and Asia, but more popular in developed countries. And highest salaried player is Rafael Nadal. It's an individual sport, but it brings a lot of crowd into it. And it's an international sport, so Rafael Nadal on 14 million. And because it's international players, you know, play around the globe. So they bring in a lot of endorsements. So Rafael Nadal on 26 million just from endorsement. So it's a good sport for bringing in the crowd, more endorsement, very popular. Again, it has a good gender popularity. Male and female tennis bo both have a good representation. Even though I would say male is more popular, they bring in more crowd. But in terms of players, uh, we have a good number of male and female players. On number four is hockey. Now hockey has around 2 billion fans. Now hockey is played with a stick and a ball and you need to put the ball into the you know goal. But it can be played on ice, then it's called ice hockey and it can be played on ground, then it's called a field hockey. In terms of ice hockey, it's very popular in US, Canada and uh, Russia, Sweden, Slovakia, you know, the, the, the top most countries where you have more ice, it's more popular. And it's one of the most skillful sport. In ice hockey, you need the strength, you need reflexes, you need speed, you need hand-eye coordination. So amazing sport to watch, but very difficult to play. So there are not many players who play it, but there are many people who watch it. And when it comes to the field hockey, that is more popular in, you know, a certain part of the globe. It's more popular in Asian countries, Australia, Argentina won two times in the World Championship. So it's popular in southern part and we can say ice hockey is more popular in northern part of the globe. And uh, hockey is a national sport of some of the Asian countries. Again, the requirement to play hockey is high, so not many people play, but they watch it. In terms of highest salary, ice hockey is popular in US, so the most salaried player from ice hockey Connor got 18 million dollars whereas Montpreet from India got 2.9 million because he's from field hockey and it's more popular in Asia. In terms of gender popularity, uh, more males play than females. It's a, a strength sport and women can also play. It's getting popular. In terms of gender popularity, it's more popular in males than females. Number three is basketball. They have 2.2 billion fans around the globe. It's popular around the globe, but the most popular league in basketball is NBA, which is again in United States. And the highest salaried player is from United States with $40 million in a year. It's popular in other countries like Canada, China, Japan, Philippines. But again, you know, it's very popular in US. They have viewers and followers all across the globe who watches the NBA, which is played in United States. Gender popularity, the male professional leagues are more, it's more popular. So again, we have a male dominating sport. Even the women's also play it, but uh, the professional, more attraction, more crowd is in male male sport uh, what you would see is you would see a basketball ground in pretty much any country the 
cost to play basketball is small. Anyone can take ball and play with it. So beautiful sport, a lot of people play. That's why a lot of fans. Number two is cricket. Cricket is estimated to have 2.5 billion fans. It's a played with a bat and a ball and it's a team sport. Now the number of countries that play cricket is handful. I can count on my fingers. Few countries in Asia like India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Australia, New Zealand, two African countries, Zimbabwe, South Africa, one European country, England and West Indies. That's all. Very few countries play. But then you might be wondering how come they have so many fans when it's played in so few countries that is because india it's so popular in india and india got a population of 1.3 billion so one of the famous tournament is cricket world cup and it was estimated to have 2.2 billion people who watched that world cup so it's very popular in fans because of india now you might be wondering well china is also big so how come you know you don't have a sport of china in the top two that is because you know in china the sports are like football table tennis badminton running and olympics so the the fans are distributed across the sport whereas in india it's only cricket now in india everyone follows cricket other sports are getting little bit popularity these days but cricket is the bread and butter of indian sports and that's why so many fans are there it's a country sport and India, you know, India just brought this number very, very high. On number one is soccer, associated football, whatever you want to call it. I call it soccer, you call it football, you know, we, we know what we are talking about. The whole world knows. We, let's not fight over the word. Let's take a look at this thing. What does this mean to you? That is the number one. It is present across the globe. There are 250 million players in 200 countries and now it is the richest sport. The highest paid athlete across the sport is Lionel Messi. 126 million. He's from Argentina. It's a sport that is played across the globe. It's an amazing sport in terms of professionalism. We do have a more male representation of for now, but female are also getting popular. Female soccer is getting popular. But soccer is, you know, it, it just top of the everything. Uh, in FIFA 2018, 3.2 billion people watched it. So soccer is, or football is, you know, whatever this means to you is number one in all the sport in terms of fans, in terms of players, in terms of leagues, everything. This is, you know, at number one, 3.5 billion fans. Now let's take a look at the comparison of fans and salary. Over here you see the fans in billions and over here you see salary in millions. So what you see here is cricket has a 2.5 billion fans but the salary is not very high. Why is that? Well there are multiple reasons. One, because it is a country versus country sport. So when it's not a club, it doesn't bring in more merchandise. It's not able to attract a lot of sponsorship. So country versus country sports would have a less money into it. And it's more popular in Asia. So if you know the money in Asia, when you convert it into dollars, it's, it's a small amount. Uh, and then the third reason is the format. So cricket used to be played in a 50 over match. So a match would take eight hours to complete. So there's no way you can schedule a match during weekday and expect fans to come because it's an eight hour match so they can only have it over the weekend so less matches less money wasn't great but they found a solution so in recent years last five six seven years what they have done is they introduced the t20 format so rather than playing 50 overs they play 20 overs and it's a match get wrapped up in three hours so when it gets wrapped up in three hours, people walk throughout the day and then evening they can come and watch a match. So three hour format brought in a lot of fans and they changed from country. Now it's more on a club based. So when you have a club based, you get a more money, more sponsorship. So because of this change in last uh, couple of years, cricket is able to get more money into the sport. That's why, you know, it's it's doing very good. I, I anticipate cricket to do much better in near future. The salary, I would expect it to go high and high because of that change. Other thing you would notice is volleyball. Volleyball have a lot of, you know, fans, but the money is not there. Why it's not there? 
So there are two reasons. One, uh, they don't have a great club representation. There are leagues, but they are all small. And the second, the field is small. So they can't really bring a huge crowd because the, the field is small. You can't really see what's going on if it's a very big ground. And the third thing is, the match duration is 60 to 90 minutes and it's not a time based you know soccer is also 90 minutes but you know for sure the match is going to go for 90 minutes in volleyball if one team is good other is not good the match can get wrapped up in 20 minutes so uh, the variability is there so that's another reason so if uh, we want to make big if they want to make volleyball big they need to increase the duration of match uh, they need to make you know remove a little bit of uncertainty and bring it more on a competitive level more leagues more sponsorship then this might go up otherwise it's gonna stay small other one is table tennis you you see a lot of fans but not much money again you know table tennis is a played on a small table and a small ball so you can't have a huge crowd to watch the table tennis and the game duration is very small it's a 30 minute to 60 minutes so a match again it's not time based so a match can get wrapped up in 15 20 minutes may take 60 minutes very small duration that's another reason there are not many fans and you know it's individual sports so there's not teams there's no uh, sponsorship so that's another reason i don't know uh, how to make table tennis uh, you know more popular in terms of money i don't see lot of money coming into table tennis in new, near future unless someone comes up with magical idea then we might see some changes there apart from 10 sports the other popular sports are these so you can have a look at it i'm not going to talk about all of them but you can have a look at it and now what i want from you is in the comment below please let me know which sport do you play and which sport has highest potential the one that is not in the top 10 right now but the one which has highest potential to come into the top 10 in the next 10 years what do you think about these two and subscribe and join the community of sports enthusiasts we talk about all the sports on this channel this is a channel where we talk about all the sports and bring all the fans at one place to cheer and to enjoy the blessing to humanity sports thank you bye bye